Grüezi YouTubers, here is the guy with the Swiss accent. The first one in this mailbag does not need a Swiss army knife. <clears throat> this is something quite uncomfortable, I have to confess. Doctors probably would say to that ejaculatio precox of an earth. When I got this first ESP32, I unpackaged it and forgot to switch on the camera. So it's here, naked as it was built by Espressive. This is a real Christmas gift. I had one, but it was lent by my colleague and I have to give it back. Now I have my own ESP32 to play around with it. But let's start now with the normal mailbag. This time when I came home, I found this huge package on my table, plus some smaller ones. But this one I have no clue it comes from lightning in the box and I just don't hope there is a bomb inside. These are boxes from Banggood. After unpackaging, you see there are 10 different boxes. And I ordered these because I have more and more a mess in my lab because of different sizes of boxes. And I try now to get all the same size. You can create bigger or smaller compartments. And this should be fine for medium size sensor boards and stuff like that. And they look like that if they are filled and labeled. So fortunately this was no bomb and we can continue with the next one. And it is a transistor tester. Also I think from Banggood. And we will see if it is different to this one and that one. So I plan to make a comparison between these three uh, transistor testers. It's also nice it has here leads and sometimes it's good if you can attach the leads to bigger components because here you have to stick them in the small holes and here also you have to put the, the components here or on this small uh, pad for SMD chips but this is uh, a, a difference here definitely Next one is another order from Banggood and you see it here, it is something I ordered because of the mailbag of Voltlog. He showed us these small banana plugs and uh, I like them. Uh, very much because they look they look quite nice and uh, he also recommended them that's why I ordered a few of them just for my future project and some heat shrink tubes I have uh, some heat shrink tubes but only black and transparent and I thought I just buy a small 
set of also red featuring tubes. So they come in all different sizes from smaller to bigger. Next one HW11SO3. Ah, long awaited parts to radar modules. So many viewers asked when I will test them. These are the second one which are in the mail and the third will come I'm sure. Next one DS315 5 pieces. Aha! Uh -huh. Switches. They look like normal. But they are different than the normal. And I will show you what the difference is. And you see, if I do nothing, they are connected. If I press, they are open. Now, what are they for? This is also a very special purpose and I show you also the purpose. You remember probably the Sonoffs and how, they, how to hack them. You have to connect here the four wires and normally they get immediately powered. Now, to program them you have to press you have to switch off and you have to switch on and then to leave this button again. Now you saw this and this is what I want to replace. I want to replace this button by this one so it's always on and just to program I just push both buttons, leave this one, leave this one, finished. Much easier than this clumsy whip switch here. So you see now I replaced this switch with this button here and if you look close here you see that I was even able to use the shrink tubes here uh, because this is in the plus line. Okay now let's try to flash this Sonoff device. Now I just press this button GPIO 0 and now I just press this and release it and then I release this one and now I can program it. Next one Ah, these are small PIR sensors and why I do have more PIR sensors I had already a lot of them but one of the viewers said that these are much better than the ones I used. So I thought I try them. They look very similar to the small ones, but um, they are much smaller in size here. There is only mm, one small active component here, so uh, I have to test them. So let's quickly check these PIR sensor. One thing is very important here, they are rated from 2.7 volt which is already very good compared to the rest was uh, from 5 volt so they fit very nice with the ESP68266 and I really powered it now with 3.3 volts and now you see the output is about close to 3 volt now we wait, ah, it's already switched off and switched on. It switches off quite fast, which is good if you want to use it in electronics. So just one, two, three, four, five, four seconds, probably five seconds maximum, and then it's off again. Seems to be really a good 
idea of the viewer thank you very much for your input and I think here we see also that we were able now to build a nice community and together we know much more than myself only and uh, we really can develop this channel if we uh, work together like that that you also in the comment if you know something uh, have a good idea also for a project or so just put it in maybe you will see later on that I was able to use it like this small device here next one <coughs> now this seems to be an important one it has to be scanned by the Swiss Post at the arrival so let's look what's in here many different things this seems to be something for the ESP32 I have no idea ah this is from analog lamp now this was really fast I ordered this I think last week analog lamp is a new supplier I never uh, ordered something there but they seem to be really good and they are ESP 32s maybe it looks like ESP 32s but very special one without the cover I have to check They are really ESP32s, but I have to check it out if it works. At least I hear something from the computer. And it is really an ESP32 and it behaves exactly the same way as uh, the Adafruit one with the uh, development board so now I have already three ESP 32s good so really check out this analog lamp this seems to be a real good supplier it was really fast Express is really true next one this is clear I think must be some sort of assortments many different assortments so let's have a look at them these are different assortments of different connectors always with the pins together smaller bigger ones and even bigger I even don't know exactly which one I ordered but you will find the links in the description and what's that here These are prefabricated wires because it's much faster if you have those instead of crimping your own. And uh, I thought because they were quite cheap, I thought I buy a few of them and then I just can plug it into these housings. Next one may be opened officially interesting seven dollars value it's a 5 volt 40 watt power supply and a smaller also 5 volt 3 ampere power supply for 5 volt devices this is good for the fake TV 
this is for big TV screens and this is for probably smaller TV screens or fake TV screens of course next one my name printed on it very nice 10 pieces of something ah yes I know what it is 10 original Wemos minis and these are the version 2 they have a different setup for the programming circuit and they claim that they will program much easier I don't know and here it's nice it's even engraved Wemos here they cost a few cents more than the knockoffs but I thought they had a good idea with these small devices and this is why I spent this few, do few cents more to buy it from them so you see I can do many new projects with them and this is coming with them that you can have either male or female headers oh even three short bigger and male male headers I will show you in one of the next videos why these can be used here especially with the Wemos stay tuned now a small one and these are power regulators if I remember right special power regulators I will do a video once uh, or I plan to do a video about all the different uh, power regulators for 3.3 uh, volt and will measure them their reaction to peaks and so on because also the ESP32 has a very similar behavior if I read uh, the data sheet it also uh, draws about 300 milliampere peak uh, current so we will have the same problem also with the uh, ESP32 as we had with the ESP8266 so it might be good to investigate which regulator is the best one I hope this video was useful or at least interesting for you bye